Saturday night GOJHL action from Fort Erie at the Leisure Plex. The Welland Junior Canadians getting set to hit the ice against the hometown Fort Erie Meteors. Let's hop into the first period of this one. And this, a very good game on a Saturday night. First period. And it's Fort Erie looking to strike first. How about the feed? Kyle Adamo's going to come in behind the goal. He's going to find R.J. Schmidt coming right in. Schmidt wires it home for R.J. Schmidt, his seventh of the season. Adamo, his 31st apple. And Fort Erie's on the board first at home. It's 1-0 Meteors. Still in the first frame now. Wellen looking to tie this game up before the end of the first period. But John Lloyd gets across from the far side to make the save. To the second period we go. Wellen again buzzing in the zone right out front Braden Carruthers he's going to tuck his seventh of the season against his former team in Fort Erie not much going on in the third period it was a scoreless frame we needed it overtime in this one tied at one and just 16 seconds into overtime Ryland Masterson makes his way in he finds Sam Tonelli out front Tanelli time as he buries the overtime winner. Sam Tanelli has his third with the Meteors and his 14th of the season. Couldn't have come at a better time. Mets get the extra point, a big extra point in this one. They take it final 2-1 over Welland. Uh, I saw Masterson jump up in the play sort of on a two on one on two, so I hopped up with him. He fed me the puck wide open in front, and I just put it in the back of the net. I came off the bench, and I thought, you know, I'll just get to some open ice, and Kyle found me right in the middle, and he put it right on the tape, and shoot to score, goal scorer's goal. They don't ask how, they ask how many, so...